the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, presenting the challenger, Bazooka. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 176 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Overhand left. Swing and miss. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it to You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand Make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 
man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass for this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. And he's back up. Big kick land. Able to check the high kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big body kick land. Left hand punches the play. Both guys really throwing with authority. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet, and to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch lands over the top. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. You try to establish that jab. And he counters with a left hand. Caught that kick there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. We want you to keep your hands up, keep moving. Right, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets in. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Good defense to block the strike coming down. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just missed with the straight left hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's got the turn in that kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch, man. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect... And now his opponent in a... So try to take it down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one... Feel good. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with the jab there. It, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Go inside the octagon where...